Welcome to another mini video from 2dgameartguru.com. Today I'm working in Affinity Designer to use the embroidery brushes on text and letters. These brushes are free on my Gumroad page. The link is in the description below. I initially created them for basic shapes. Text is a little bit more complex and if it's too thin like this first example, all you see is the brush stroke and no fill. The thicker the text gets, the more of the fill I see and the more sense the embroidery brush makes. You can set the brush to different settings. I can put it inside, which doesn't work at all, or outside, which still looks odd. To me, aligning the stroke to the center looks the best for this set of brushes. Overlapping letters like in the lower right are an issue. It looks better when you convert them to curves, group them and then apply the effect to the text as one shape or one compound. For this video I'd like to work with a bolder font. This is Gothic Ultra. It's a cleanly designed font with no stray notes that could cause issues with brush strokes. I assign my brush stroke, adjust the width and set the color. There are limits to the color changes. I designed these brushes as highly saturated texture image brushes which means you can alter the U but can't shade into say a light pink. This would require the creation of a new brush. I explained the process in an earlier video. The embroidery brush gives the illusion of depth. I emphasize this by adding an outer shadow to the letters. As you can see with the corners of the A or the tight corners of the B and the C, there are issues when a brush gets twisted too much. To avoid that, I go in with the corner tool, round these corners a little bit. You can select multiple corners and round them at the same time. This usually fixes issues with tilted lines in your brush as well, at least to some degree. The easiest way to store these attributes, fill, stroke, outer shadow or other effects is by using a style. Problem is if I assign a new style to say the C, it overrides all these settings. I have to recreate the stroke, adjust the widths and change the stroke color, add the outer shadow again. Once I've done that, I have a setup that I can now save as a new style. Not in this section, I create a new category and save it in there. You add from the existing selection and then I can assign it to my other letters. I can also copy and paste a style with Control Shift and V or Command Shift and V on the Mac. If you make changes to the fill now, like assigning a different angle and size to the bitmap fill, it does not update the style. You'd have to save the style again. Assigning a style to a new object also requires some tweaking as the bitmap fill and the stroke widths are adjusted to the object. Another use of the embroidery brushes with text is through a line font where the font is not defined by a fill shape but by a line that then takes on the stroke or the brush pattern. I start with the pen tool and draw two lines. I use the node tool and alignment to space out the nodes for the letter A evenly. I switch back to the pen tool and add the missing line. Adding additional lines to the same shape is no problem. I can hold Ctrl or Command and click on a segment and it will delete that segment. Now I have one curve. I can assign my brush stroke to it. I change the stroke color and use the corner tool to fix the angle issue at the top. If you want to keep the corner like this, bake it. Otherwise, the corner will be readjusted each time you scale your object.
I create two more letters. The letter B is nearly as simple. It consists of five lines. Again, I use the alignment panel to align my notes. Give them even spacing. Use the smooth for the curves. Adjust the handles and have a nice looking somewhat even letter B. Again, using the corner tool, I adjust my corners of the B to avoid extreme deformation of the brush. The C is a circle with a part missing. I convert the ellipse to curves, use the node tool, add two extra nodes and delete the two segments. I bake the corners for both the B and the A and have a simple set of line letters that I can play around with. Now let's try a different stroke. I created the black set because there was no easy way to create pure black. I can now easily change the brush to a different stitch, adjust the widths and get a completely different look. I created an alphabet in this style with six different brushes. It is available on my Gumroad page, the link is in the description below. Just add a zero in the price field and you get this file for free. Check the file out, play with the letters, add different strokes. They don't have to be my embroidery strokes. I'm sure there's cool stuff that can be done with these letters. Have fun with brushes, they are an awesome tool especially when you start creating your own. If you want to learn more about it, maybe look at the embroidery video I recorded earlier. It shows you the use and the creation of these brushes. There's also a whole bunch of tutorials on my website on creating brushes. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe to my channel, click on the notification icon, leave a like, and I will see you again soon.